Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Magnetic Lasso tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, the Magnetic Lasso tool is especially useful for quickly selecting object with complex edges set against the high contrast background. Okay, the Magnetic Lasso tool is one of the three lasso tool which we already discussed in our last video where we already learned a standard lasso tool and polygonal lasso tool. Now in this video, we are going to learn Magnetic Lasso tool. Like the polygonal lasso tool, the magnetic lasso tool can be found nested behind the standard lasso tool in the tool panel over here. So friends, for now, I am just creating a new document where we am going to show you all this property. And after that, we are going to do some practical example where we are going to remove this window and then replace any other background instead of this window. So guys, first I am going to create one new document. Okay, you can use control plus N to create this new document. I'm just uh, give the name magnetic lasso tool. Fine. Okay, rest is fine. Just press okay. So I'm just creating this new document for just to see all the properties of magnetic lasso tool. Okay, so as you see in a standard lasso tool and a polygonal lasso tool, the some properties are same like a new selections, add to selections, subtract from selections and intersect with the selection. So guys, magnetic lasso tool is very easy to use. Okay, instead of that a standard lasso tool and polygonal lasso tool, magnetic lasso tool select edges very nicely. So first I am just selecting this like this. As you can see, I am just selecting over here and my selection is done. It is a new selection. If I am selecting this and if I am creating one new selection and as you can see my previous selection is gone this i'm just for showing you the all the property fine the next property is an add to selection for example i want to add something in this selection so i'm just adding like this and as you can see both the selection are add together same as subtract to selections okay i'm just selecting like this and as you can see the previous one subtract from the newer one and same as intersect with the selections so that it will intersect with previous selected intersect with the previous selection so guys this is a normal properties of the magnetic lasso tool which we already seen in a standard lasso tool as well as an polygonal lasso tool friends so now we are going to see some practical example where we am going to show you how we can remove this window very nicely with magnetic lasso tool so first of all i am just zoom okay because as you can see this is very hard for polygonal lasso tool and a standard lasso tool to select this area but for the magnetic lasso tool it's very easy so friends first we are going to see the other property okay after selecting the magnetic lasso tool here you can see some property first is feather what is a feather we already seen in polygonal lasso tool as well as a standard lasso tool it will the soften edges of this selection fine the next is width what is a width this is a cursor size okay what we can say to specify a detection width enter a pixel value of the width and the magnetic lasso tool detect edges only within the specified distance from the pointer for example if i am enter the 80 then what you can do it it will become bigger so what it tell it tells that it detects the edges only within the specified distance from the pointer okay now our next property is an contrast to specify the lasso sensitivity to edges in this image now you can enter a value between 1 to 100 a higher value detects only edges that contrast sharpen with their surroundings and a lower value detects lower contrast edges so there is a use of this property contrast now the frequency specify the rate at which the lasso tool sets fasting points now enter the value between 0 to 100 in a frequency. A higher value anchors the selections border in a place more quickly. So guys, this is a use of this frequency. So let's start by using this magnetic lasso tool. I'm just selecting this and I'm just decrease the size like a 20. Fine, because it is a good for me for the selection. I'm going to start my selection from here and then we are going to select this window. Okay. And later on, we are replaced with this snow background. Fine. So guys, how to use this magnetic lasso tool? So first click in the image to set the first fasting point. For example, I am setting this fasting point over here. Okay. Now fasting point anchor the selection border in the place. 
Now release. Release the mouse button or you can also keep it pressed and then move the mouse pointer along the edge you want like this. Right now I am not pressing my mouse button. I am already released that button and now I am just moving my mouse pointer. Now if you want to go up then just paste okay as you can see that hand is up here and now you can use your mouse to going up down left right anywhere okay like this you can also zoom and you can start your point like this You can also add some point like this. As you can see, it will take a selection very nicely now sometime it not take properly so you can also add a random point over here by manually okay like this I am just adding manually You need to play with this uh, contrast and frequency to get an exact result you want. Now just for the practical purpose to show you, I am just doing with the 5 contrast and a 5 frequency. So I am come to my start point and just press and you can done. So our selection is done. Now you can just unlock this layer and you can delete this like this and now you can add any background on this place. But guys as you can see while selecting this, this part is came. Now I want a, another selection. I am just clicking this new selection and just select this part like this. Okay, and we are just deleting it so like this you can do anything with Adobe Photoshop you just need to know properties and all the tools of this Adobe Photoshop so guys now our window is gone now what we are going to do we are just uh, replacing this snow footage so it will look like the person is moving in a snowing area so I'm just selecting this snow footage and drag and drop to this footage now as you know the layer system now it is a come to the front of this layer so i'm just dragging to the bottom layer so friends as you can see we are done you can just adjust the layer like this you can just specify the size of this enter so done like this guys you can do a lot of creative things in adobe photoshop you can also uh, remove this side window this window and you can apply the other footages so friends that's all about a magnetic lasso tool thank you so much see you in the next video